Risky Behavior. Yo, what's up? How y'all doing? Welcome to Risky Behavior. I am your host, Smelly. Um, and I'm back with another Kendra G Singles Live Reaction. Um, I guess today's question would be, um, how do you feel about dating someone who is currently living with their supposed ex? They're, they're their ex, but they're still living with them and they're trying to enter into the dating market while still living with that person well that's what the young lady you see on the screen is doing and so anyway without being too long with it let's go ahead and jump into this video hello kendra hi what's your name i'm taylor taylor where are you calling us from Texas. i can't you gotta talk louder you have me on a bluetooth yes can you hear me yes but maybe take the bluetooth off Hello? Someone okay, can you hear me? Hello? Um, can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Sorry, I'm at work right now. Can you see me? Yes. Okay, yes, I'm in Texas. Texas. How old are you, Taylor? 29. 29. What do you do for a living? I'm a front desk agent at a hotel. Front desk agent at hotel. You have any kids? Yes, I have two beautiful boys, one and three, by one man. Why are not together? It's complicated, <laughs> honestly. We took off your Bluetooth. Yes, I did. Can you hear me? Okay. So you have a one-year-old and a three-year-old by the same guy. And you're not together? No. You don't know why? It's complicated. We just don't mesh at all. Like, I'm a very affectionate person, and he just did not show any affection at all. Give me one second. Let me see. Okay. Sorry about that. I thought it was going to connect again. Okay. But, yeah, um, we're just um, not compatible at all, honestly. Not compatible at all. Okay. Yeah. So, we got Taylor, Texas, 29, front desk, got a hotel. What's your zodiac sign? Aries. Aries. Mine yes. are two kids by the same man. Um, one and three. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for a man that's honest, um, a loving man, a man that's able to express himself, that's not afraid to love a woman, show a woman that he cares about her, like go on dates, hug me, kiss me in public, um, stuff like that. Like I just want a man that's romantic because I'm a very emotional woman and I'm a very loving woman. So. If you're not honest and you're not, you know, ready to actually love and go through the ups and downs and be there mentally and emotionally, then, yeah, I don't okay. want you. <laughs> what are your deal breakers? Um, someone that's not passionate, um, a liar, and what else? That's really it. Sorry, Kendra, I'm nervous. <laughs> I watch your show all the time. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, so do you look a certain way? Um, at this point, I honestly don't even care. As long as you're attractive to me, I don't care. You could be white, Asian, black. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Don't tell me you've been here before. Have you? No. This is my first time. It's her first time. Cousin, she's yes. first time. Okay. You say you're open to all races? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, should he make a certain amount of money? Mm, uh, I guess 75k I don't know Kendra honestly it's not really about the money to me because I'm going to work every day and provide for my kids so the money isn't really a big deal for me the more okay. the more look, sorry <laughs> the most important thing to me is the love and the respect honestly okay um and okay let's do the Kendra cam all right give me one second Okay, look, you're in good shape. Okay, I see you, Mama. I'm so, so I can't believe you picked me, but go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, girl. All right, so we got Taylor, Texas, 29, Aries. Um, do you want more kids? Uh, yes, but it has to be a serious commitment before I do that. Okay, so you're going to freeze it right. All right, Taylor, um, when was your last relationship? <clears throat> Okay, Kendra, don't get mad, okay? 
So me and my kid's father is complicated. We still live together, but we're not together. So that's the big, yeah. <laughs> I got to start calling my ladies out. I got to start calling my ladies out. Let me tell you why. And I say this with love. I say this with love to my... Oh, oh. And you know what? This is just after she said that. Cause she said she said some different things. The when she said um, in the beginning, she said that they are not com compatible or whatever, right? But it's like you had a one year, you got a one year old and a three year old by that person. You didn't figure that out, right? You didn't figure it out when you had the first child. And now you're just figuring out that you've had the second child. Then she said, well, do you want more kids? Well, uh, you know, it'll have to be a serious commitment. But you done sat over here, you're living with and then had two kids by somebody else without a commitment. And then dun, 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 you live with this person. You live with them, but you're not with them. But you got a one-year-old by them. You was at least with them a year ago and you don't think that you need to get fully out of that situation you got kids back to back with this person that you live with and you don't think you need to wait before you go into dating you think that's right And I'm willing to bet that her and this guy had an argument and she's on this show hoping that he'll see it or something like that. Like she's coming on the show to make him jealous or something like that. Because there ain't no way you got a one-year-old, three-year-old talking about you ain't with this guy and y'all still live together. Like that's crazy to me. That That's crazy. What um, respectable guy is going to see this and be attracted to this not saying she's a bad person seems nice but who wants to sign up for this situation i i gotta know i hope you receive this with love but i get a lot of women who say things that there's piss in the dating pool right mm -hmm. and you know we're gonna move forward i already know that some men would probably have a challenge with you having two young kids, a one-year-old and a three-year-old, right? Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to move forward. Now you're telling us that you live with your baby daddy and you think a quality man is going to want to date you in this position in your life? Um, I don't see why not. I mean, we're not together. Like, A quality man is not <laughs> choosing a woman that has a one-year-old and a three-year-old that still lives with her baby daddy. That's not what a quality man is going to choose. Now, a man who might just want to have sex with you, who don't really have no future plans with you, he probably take you out because he don't want nothing. A man who in a relationship already and knows that he can mess with you on the low because you already live with your baby daddy, so it's an equal opportunity situation. But this is not what a man who was trying to set up a life with a woman would choose. And I feel like as much as I love my ladies, you, there got to be some housekeeping, right? Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with you at least get your own place before That's you start I'm, looking for a new man. That's what I'm working on, Kendra. I'm working on Well, that. work on that and then work then on call digging. You, then call you back because I'm going to come I back mean, on your show. I mean, you're here now. I'm just, I just want to keep it real with you. Like, but you know what, though? At the end of the day, I think, too, is that some of these women need to be more honest because a part of me feels like she's not even really looking for another relationship. She's not. She's looking for a way out of her current situation. She's disguising it as if she's looking for love, but she ain't really looking for love. She's looking for a way out. Or she's looking for a way to make that man jealous. Oh, yeah, he going to see me on the Kendra G show and he'll get himself together if he sees me on here. It's one of those two things. But I, I, I'm i not going to think that she believes she's going to get some good guy 
off of this performance. I don't believe it. I don't think that she's really looking for a relationship. I don't think she cares. I think she's just looking for a way out of whatever her situation is or she's looking for a good time. And what made me think about that is because Kendra G says she's going to attract a man that already has a relationship because he knows he can mess with her on the low. Correct. And that's probably what she's hoping to attract. She's just looking for a good time. She's looking for a way out of her situation. You know, uh, family life can sometimes get boring. You know, it can be um, hard sometimes. You know, you get those to those rough patches. And I think she's just looking for some fun. But she's coming on the show pretending like she's looking for a guy. But she's not. She She's just looking to get a little fun, a little razzle-dazzle back in her life. That's all. She ain't leaving that dude that she's with. She's just disguising it. This is just for attention what she's doing. I respect it. I love you, Kendra. I respect it. Yeah, I love you back, and it's hard, <laughs> but I like this. That's crazy. And honestly, why can't y'all just work it out? Y'all have a one-year-old, three-year-old. Y'all live together. Like what? I mean, in the perfect world, y'all can figure it out because y'all already a family. Uh, I just feel like we grew up differently so I just feel like he has a lot of trauma that he doesn't want to deal with so honestly like I just don't see us working at all they want me to continue what are your um we, we were almost at the end well when's the last time you was intimate, intimate with someone you don't have to answer uh probably about three weeks ago with your child's father Mm-hmm. You honestly didn't think anything was wrong with this? <laughs> no, not really, because I know where my heart is at, and I know, like, it, it's over. Like, I gave him three years, and we're still at the same place that we've been. Girl, how was it over? You slept him three weeks ago when you lived with him, and I got two kids <laughs> together, a one- and a three-year-old. Child, how is Kend- it? What, what, part, what part of that equals Kendra. over? What Kendra, part of that just, equals over? just because you're intimate with somebody doesn't mean that you're meant to be or there's compatibility there. Like, we live together, of course. You know, you might have your Yeah, up. but you have to realize y'all not just intimate, which is one part, okay? That is a part, but let's just say, okay, one thing is y'all slept together three weeks ago. That's one thing. Another thing is y'all have two young kids. You have a one-year-old and a three-year-old. That's a whole other equation. Then y'all live together. That's equation number three. Mm-hmm. Kendra, it's a long story, honestly. <laughs> um, what are three flaws you have to work on? Um, I would say communication. Mm. Communication. Three flaws. Mm, I don't know, Kendra. What? What? <laughs> what? You can't name three flaws? I'm sorry, Kendra. I'm sorry. Look. Let me help you out. Delusional is one of them. You slept with your baby daddy three weeks ago. Y'all got a one and a three-year-old together. You ain't giving us. You want me to keep going? (laughs) I mean, I'm just looking for love. Like, that's it. Well, that's the problem. Here's the deal. Looking for love. Love is in the mirror, okay? You don't have to find love. We're born with love, right? So you don't have to look far for love, but... The way you love yourself is the way somebody else is going to love you. And, you know, I always tell people, you're going to see, I don't know if you're, this is, I don't know if if I'm saying things that's enlightening to you. It's things that I would think you would know. But the cousins are definitely going to tell you this. Like, I don't understand how, y'all need to get some new girlfriends. Because your girlfriend should have told you this. Your girlfriend should have said, at least get your own place. Because how does the guy pick you up? You live with your baby daddy. And you slept with three weeks ago. So how does the new man even take you out on a date? You got a point. She ain't even thinking that. (laughs) How does the new man bring you to... Because I also got to know this too. Respectable men, they got a a list of people y'all got to pass the test with, right? Okay, she went, and that's fine. Okay, this is another eye-opener. If you, most respectable men, not all, but most, they have a group of people you got to pass the test with. It might be their grandmama, their mama, their auntie, or their sister, okay? 
They're going to have to approve of you. So just know, as you're trying to win his heart and y'all going, these women that he respects in his life are also going to have to co-sign you to a certain degree. And if they don't co-sign you, it's going to be hard for y'all to move forward to the next step. So I think what's happening is, you know, again, ladies, and I, in honor of sisterhood, I do understand there's a lot of men full of shit, okay? And y'all trying to find this Prince Charming. But I think, women, you got to start accepting the fact that some of y'all full of shit, too. And some of y'all got to start getting your shit together. I'm going to stop it right there because that was well said. Anyway, um, all those who subscribe, uh, I appreciate you so very much. Those that like, those that share. Also, um, don't forget to um, get in that comment section. Let me know what you think. Risky, out. Risky behavior.